the auto auction. Who doesn't love listening to a master auctioneer? They call it the auction chant, bid calling, the auction cry, or even the cattle rattle. But the repetition of numbers and words at the auction is a hypnotic rhythm of numbers and filler words. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Liz, the words come out of these guys' mouths so fast, it can be impossible for the untrained ear to keep track of what these guys are saying. Totally. Essentially, the auction chant is a repetition of two numbers at a time which indicate the monetary amount involved in the sale of the item. All I'm saying is, don't be the guy standing there in the aisle with your bid number out and nodding your head every time someone looks at you. It's going to cost <laughs> you a lot of money. See if you guys can figure this out. Wow, he was amazing. It was always a lot of fun to attend an auction. The first number he is saying is the amount of money which is currently being offered by a bidder for the vehicle. The second number is what the next bid needs to be in order to become the next higher bidder, otherwise known as the current man on. But in between the numbers are filler words, which are what the auctioneer says to tie the chant together, making it smooth and rhythmic. So we're going to take a little break from our typically serious down to business show and just entertain you guys today for a change and have a little fun. Deal? Deal. You folks can earn a $50 gift card or a choice of a comparable prize. The following video clip was sent to us by our friend Brandon. Pay attention to the auctioneer once Brandon gets inside the building and see if you can determine what the bid is and what the next bid needs to be for another person to become the higher bidder. A $50 gift card goes to the first two viewers who can give us an accurate answer. Tell us what the current bid is and what does the next bid need to be. If I sent you to the auction with the order to buy the car, how much do you pay? There will be two different auctioneers, so we will circle the one that we're talking about. You are welcome to put some guesses in the comment section, but to be in the contest for the gift cards, send us an email to kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com and put auctioneer guess in the email title so it doesn't just get mixed up with the tons of other emails that we get. All right, Kevin and Liz, here's where we're at. We're at a used car dealer auction right now and I am in the lot. So all these cars behind me right now, these are cars that are gonna be uh, going through the lane for sale. Most of them are dealer trade-ins. There's some repos out here. Um, there's some independent dealers that are running some stuff. This is a light auction right now. Usually they run uh, 150 cars. They probably got 100 this week. But uh, so what'll happen is they'll actually pull these cars from the lanes and then they'll run them around here and straight through this gate. But as the cars approach here, they'll stop and get in line to get ready to run through the lane. And inside of this building, there's actually two lanes. There's one that's running straight forward, and there's one that's running across like this. There'll be two auctioneers, and once I get in here, you won't be able to hear me. But uh, all the dealers are going to be standing on this side over here. And, uh, <laughs> well, we'll just go in. Thank you. 
That's it for our show today, folks. We hope you enjoyed it. And a special thanks to Brandon for sending us that awesome auction video. I loved it. Much appreciated. All right, if you're new here to the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast-growing group of 384,000 subscribers and become a part of our family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We gotta, gotta go. go.